At the stereoscope, put a third instar lava in a drop of one times PBS on a silicone Petri dish. To avoid the lava movements, you could chill them on ice for a few minutes. Using the tweezers, cut the lava at around 70 to 80% of the body length at the posterior part. Then use one of the tweezers to stabilize the body of the lava. With the tip of the other tweezer, push the anterior part inside as if you were inverting the finger of a rubber glove. Gently continue pushing and rolling the body wall along the tweezer until the lava is completely inverted inside out. Once the lava is inverted, start the cleaning procedure by taking out the gut and the fat body to expose the tissues that are of interest. The fat body are those white colored tissues. After cleaning the fat body, the brain should become recognisable at the anterior part of the inverted lava. You will be able to see the two optic lobes and the ventral cord. At the lateral part of the lava you will find, usually stuck to the trachea, one of the wing imaginal discs. Close to the wing imaginal disc, you should also be able to identify the halter disc and the third leg disc. Anterior to the wing imaginal disc, you will find the first and second pairs of wing imaginal discs. There is an alternative way to quickly get access to the brain tissue. Grab the larvae at the center of the body with one of the tweezers. With the other tweezer, grab the hooks of the mouth and gently pull out until the body wall of the anterior part of the larva breaks and the anterior tissues are exposed. As in the previous case, you just need to dispose the surrounding tissues to get the brain cleaned. Note that this procedure facilitates access to the eye antenna, leg imaginal discs and brain associated with the ventral cord, but would not be ideal for the dissection of the wing, halter and third imaginal discs associated with the trachea.